Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and I'm bringing you this video from the beautiful west of Ireland on the subject that this full moon of December 2021 is actually a big chance to resolve love issues. The full moon of December 2021 is a big chance to resolve love issues to bring more love into your life, to optimise your love life, to turn up the love vibe and heal wounds or blocks to relationship. Now this full moon um, is the 18th of December in the USA but it's the 19th of December at 4.35am here in Ireland. And it's a big bonus chance in your life to heal your relationship issues and your wounds or blocks to love and relationship. This full moon definitely brings in a most valuable time period where we can each of us apply insights and understanding and better communication to identify and share on the matter of our love scripts and our wounds to love and relationship. It brings in a chance when we could lovingly and constructively share on how we relate in our loving relationship and on how we might heal our wounds to love. Remember, out of challenge can come victory out of strong challenge can come victory. You are stronger than you think. Now is a time to face into our wounds to love. Even to experience them and feel them and use that experience as a portal or doorway to now bring in healing to our love and relationship issues. And if you feel that love issues are a challenge for you or an issue to be dealt with at this moment, I'd be delighted to give you a reading. I join the vastness of Vedic astrology to psychodynamic Western astrology and evolutionary Western astrology. The techniques and resources offered by this combination are superb, so sophisticated. You can get in touch with me for an astrology reading which will include your love and relationship issues. And I do also offer healing journeys to revolutionise our understanding and perception and clarity as to our love wounds and love issues having indeed worked as a shamanic healer, including in this area of relationships for the past 25 years. My wife, Maggie Pashley, offers wonderful relationship healings online, including heart wall clearing, hypnotherapy, soul realignment, past life healing to create a more healed future life. And the, um, the address of our websites are in the blog post associated with this video and they are put in the YouTube description below the video. So now let's look what makes this particular full moon an exceptional time to focus on love. You can read on for some detail about the astrological times and degrees of this full moon that is in fact so full of possible healing potential if you make the effort to use it in that way. And I show also the astrological aspects and features that are part of the full moon. So first of all here are the astrological dates and times and degrees of the full moon. The full moon is at three degrees Vedic Gemini in Mrigashira Nakshatra, 
with the sun at three degrees Vedic Sagittarius in Mula Nakshatra, ruled over by Niriti, the goddess of death and destruction. And in the Western Zodiac, that's the moon at 27 Gemini and the sun at 27 Sagittarius. And this full moon is on the 18th of December at 23.35 in New York, at 20.25 20, in Los Angeles, and it's on the morning of Sunday the 19th of December here in Ireland. And my point is that this particular full moon in Gemini is actually a special and excellent chance for developing our communication, Gemini, communication and understanding and therefore hopefully out of that healing of our love scripts if the energy of this full moon is used at its best now and for a month ahead indeed longer actually this full moon can be so good for healing our love relationship issues I'm now going to list the astrological factors. First of all, full moon in Gemini ruled by Mercury. So good for understanding, conceptualization, communication, ideally loving, sharing communication. Now, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And it is so important to know that the Mercury of this particular full moon is actually in Purvashada Nakshatra which is ruled by Venus. And so this particular Mercury has a Venus and love context and tinge to it. And this is using the most supremely wonderful Vedic astrology's 27 sign nakshatras, the lunar zodiac, such supreme statements of our emotionally based consciousness. The second factor is huge, and that is that Venus is conjunct Pluto. Now, the Venus conjunct Pluto is exact on the 11th of December at 1 Capricorn. Then, Venus turns retrograde actually at the time of this full moon, on the 19th of December here in Ireland. But Venus is exact in conjunction to Pluto again on Christmas Day, the 25th of December. Then Pluto stations and turns, sorry, Venus stations and turns direct at 16 Vedic Sagittarius on the 29th of January to again be conjunct with Pluto on the 3rd of March at 3 degrees Vedic Capricorn. Now, Pluto conjunct Venus is huge. Amongst other things, it strengthens the love urge and the urge to find love. It gives us a chance to contact buried unconscious material that may be damaging our expression of love. It gives us a chance to contact and embody our buried or suppressed power, including in loving relationships. Now, the third factor that's important is that Venus turns retrograde. Venus turns retrograde six hours after the eclipse time here in Ireland. And it stays retrograde until the 29th of January. Retrograde Venus gives us a chance to examine and be aware of our love scripts. That's the highest use of retrograde Venus. And this can manifest negatively, of course, by being picky over love issues, retaliatory over love issues, and blaming the other person, or the person who historically caused our love wound. But Venus retrograde has a huge positive potential as well. We can make this Venus retrograde period a chance to sharpen our awareness of our love issues and of our wounds and to use that to lovingly share in healing agreement with our partner or to make healing of a block to love if we're blocked from 
moving into relationships, something that we might so desire. So this full moon with Venus conjunct Pluto and Venus retrograde is such a good time to understand our wounds and blocks to love and to use that understanding as a healing portal. So, for example, if we have Chiron in our seventh house or a Chiron Venus aspect, now is the time to get healing of that. So the next issue I'd mention is that the nodes of the moon change sign this coming April, April 2022. And actually, our chance to boost love therefore goes on. From this change of sign of the nodes of the moon, Rahu and K2, North Node and South Node, we actually have a chance to continue to build on the love healing work and the blocks clearing work that we do during this full moon and Venus retrograde period. This is because on the 12th of April 2022, the moon's nodes change sign. And the moon's nodes are heavy duty energy. They're all about fate and destiny issues, about incarnational life purpose and life direction. Now, K2, the south node, enters Libra on the 12th of April. Rahu, the north node, enters Aries on the 12th of April. But just looking at K2, the south node, entering Libra, the Vedic astrology perception is that if we bring a higher awareness and sharing about love issues, actually, K2 South Node entering Venus ruled Libra will give a chance for an upping of the power and effectiveness of Venus as the preceptor of demons to purify the demon energy of K2. And so if we can hear this and see the opportunity that way, we will all have a chance, yes, to perceive difficulties, but also to raise the vibration of our sharing and healing on love issues. Fifthly, I do want to say that divisive energy runs until April. And so you have to be aware of that. And... In fact, this, the challenge of the divisive energy could actually be a boost to your love improvement work. What happens is a preposterous divisive fated energy runs called Kalsarpa Yoga. It runs from the 14th of December to the 24th of April. And this means that all the planets are to one side of the nodal axis. Obviously, half the month, the moon will move out to the other side of the nodal axis, but that doesn't improve the divisiveness and preposterousness of the Kalsapa Yoga. It actually makes it worse because the moon is out on its own and unsupported. So I just wanted to add that to warn you that this will be a tense time up to April and to say to you, you know, please hear what I'm saying, that the full moon in the communication sign of Gemini, when coupled with Venus conjunct Pluto and with Sun in Venus ruled uh, Purvashad and Akshatra, sincerely is a time when we can make an undertaking to work to clear our blocks to relationship, or if we're in relationship, to work together to lovingly share on difficult or negative scripts and out of the challenging period to bring healing to your love. So go to my Star Wheel Astrology website, go to the buy page and you can get a reading from me. Go to my wife Maggie Pashley's uh, website www.maggiepashley.com where she offers wonderful healing such as heart wall clearing, hypnotherapy, past life healing etc. For the charts of this eclipse and the early months of 22 that I've been describing 
you go to the month pages on my Star Wheel Astrology website where there's ephemeris and lunation charts. And if you want to find out the meaning of the houses in your birth chart, um, go to the special support page on the meaning of houses. So, I hope that you will seize the opportunity, get in touch with me for a reading and indeed back up work. It would be great to work with you. Thank you.